Hey guys, welcome back to our SAP Capum tutorial series. In part 6, we will enhance our SAP Fury application by incorporating a site navigation menu and displaying our books data in a responsive table. This will provide users with an intuitive interface to navigate between inserting new books and viewing existing ones. Now let's go and check our current application status. Our application only have an insert option now. To begin, let's add a header toolbar to our application using the sap.tnd.tool header control. This will serve as the main toolbar providing users with access to various functionalities. For that, go to your browser and search for SAP Fiery UEFI Demo Kit. And click on the first one. The link will be also given in the description. In this website, click on Samples option and search for Tool Header. Click on the Tool Header option in the sidebar. And select the first one. Here, two kinds of toolbars are listed here. We are going to take the first one which is having the hamburger icon. Go to the code section and copy the code for the first toolbar. That is the code starting from TND toolbar option to the ending tag of TND toolbar. Now paste this on the view.xml file. Paste this just before the breadcrumbs tag. Then generate IDs for entire tag by clicking on quick fix and clicking on the second option. This will generate IDs for every tags. After generating, go to the UEFI demo kit page to copy the line for importing the TNT toolbar to the view page. Copy this line and paste it on your code. Paste it here and go check the output. With tool header successfully integrated, users now have the access to essential functionalities directly from the main toolbar, enhancing the overall experience. Next, we will integrate a side navigation menu using the sap.tnt.side navigation control. For this, go to the UA demo kit again and search for side navigation. Here you can see a side navigation with a toggle button. So let's copy this code and use it in our code. Copy the side navigation tag and place it before the breadcrumb tag in our code. It's a good habit to add comments before having new section. Let's type the command as side navigation. After this command, paste the copied code and generate unique ID for every tags. Then go check the output. Here we have added a side navigation control, but we didn't add the logic for toggle button. Copy the code for toggle button from the controller in the UI demo kit along with the function name. Then paste it in our controller. After copying the controller logic for toggle button, check the output to ensure it is working properly. Our toggle button is working properly. I like to see this side navigation always expanded and it should collapse when clicked. For that, go to the side, side navigation and make this true. And check the output. You can see it is expanded by default. Next task is to move these input boxes to the right side of the side navigation. For that, we will use the H box and V box to align it like a grid. We are adding two vertical boxes for the two menu options. One for adding new book and another for viewing these books. Both of these V boxes should be placed inside one H box so that it will display in a way that a table is having a row and with two columns. Generating ID is not mandatory, but to avoid this thread underline in tags, we should generate IDs. 
If we switch to the output tab, you can see it is aligned properly now. Next, let us add a panel to make it look more nice. For that, go to the UEFI demo kit as usual and search for panel in the search bar. Copy the code for panel along with the panel header and paste it inside the VBOX. Then add a closing tag for this panel and generate ID for the pasted panel. After this, if you go to the output screen and check there, you can see a panel there, but the width is so small. Let's go and change the width by giving the attribute width, having value as 60 rem. Now our output looks fine. Let's change the menu name to add book and the other one to view book and add the logic for switching menu on click. For the first menu we are choosing the people menu which is which already exists. Let us ch change this people menu to add books. We will be using the press attribute to give the function names. Let's name the function as on add book pressed. Note that you should add a dot before giving the function name. We will be also using hide all panels function to hide all the panels when clicking on any particular menu so that all other panels will be hidden apart from the current panel which is clicked. For easy coding change the id of these panels to panel1 and panel2. You should give the same id in the controller which you have used in the view.xml page. After writing the controller code, go to the view.xml page again and create another panel so that when we click on the other panel, it will get displayed. Name the new panel as panel2. Then complete the controller code by adding the panel2. Use the same function with different panel name and function name to make the second panel visible. Then pass the function name to the press attribute in the view books menu. Now go to the view.xml file and change the function name along with the text name as view books. As the last step, make the visibility of the panel to false by using the attribute visible. Check the output window now to see the working of menu switching. We have a good looking UI design. We need to display the tables in the view book option now. For adding the table, use the code which I am using now. I am skipping this step because I have already explained how to display a table from the database in the theory series. If you haven't watched those videos, I recommend you to complete the theory series videos which is available in the playlist section of this channel or if you just want to copy paste the code for now, then you can copy it from the screen. Now, when users navigate to the view books section, they can see a neatly organized table displaying all the books records from our Capm database. 
In this tutorial, we have successfully enhanced our SAP Fiori application by adding a side navigation menu and a responsive table to display book data. This feature significantly improves the user experience by providing intuitive navigation and clear data presentation. Stay tuned for part 7 where we will delve into implementing delete operations and utilizing fragments to enhance our book management application. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below.